Hi everyone, I'm back with my coffee. This is the bottom of the pot, so hopefully there'll be no shaking today. <clears throat> Put this down to the side. I am going to do yet another ring and pour today. Um, I have Artist Loft Metallic Blue. Artist Loft Metallic Purple. Let me put these somewhere. Oh, uh, black, Artist Loft Flow Black with a little bit of Deco Art Metallic Zinc. Uh, ba -doo -ba -doo. Some Deco Art Metallic Gray, uh, Grant, Granny? No, it's Garnet. I, oh, it, that was another language. No wonder. <laughs> it's Garnet. Oh, me, oh, my. And a gold, which is mixed with another gold. I um, did the metallic paint, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. And the Artist Loft Flow White. Mm. Set my coffee to the side. So, I'm just going to do this with no gloves and pray for the best. I don't know when it's going to be back where we can have gloves again, but it's okay. I don't mind getting all painted up. It is definitely not a problem. I just have to get my... My ready to go paper towels here. All right. Let's see, how am I gonna layer this? That's gonna be on the top. So, I'm gonna start out with a white. The white. Come on, white. Oh. And hmm. blue. Go ahead and put the purple in. We got pretty amethyst. on it. I almost sounded like I said darn it. Uh, 24 karat gold. And my black. You see that? a little bit of blue. White. Lavender, or amethyst, or metallic purple. <laughs> there you go, metallic purple. <sighs> Gone it. Gold. And black. All right. I'm going to attempt to set some of this to the side. Just right around the corner of my box I got going on here. Which seems to work wonders. Keeps everything contained. And it's 
was free. So there you go. All right, I did make up with some thinner white. I can spread that around so it'll have some uh, little place there that it could uh, sit on top of and uh, hopefully it'll be enough to make it spread without having to add more. But if I have to add more, I definitely made enough today. All right. I'm loving them colors. I'm loving them colors. Let this one be the magic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and torch this white. Which I don't see any bubbles in it, which is a good thing. Nope, not see any bubbles in it. Maybe they will surface. Okay. Pinch my cup. Where are you? There you are. It's kind of like a jiggle pour. I'm really liking these. Um, the beautiful effects they make, and wow. Right now it's, I like it. I'm not seeing my black. I wonder if I tilt a little bit. Brings out more of the red. Tilt back the other way. See if I can find some black on the side in there. I can't find my black, but that's okay. It's in there somewhere. It's all right. I can't find the white either, so. It does not bother me because I know I just uh, I uh, just finished one of these, and it did not look anything like what I poured out of the cup when I finally spun it. It just spun into something completely different. It was crazy. Oh, there's some white. That little blue dot right there. Yeah. Trying to get every last drop knowing that that's usually not going to be the case. Wow, that's dark. Never even got to the white at the bottom, but it's cool. I like it right here. It looks almost like a feather. It'd be a pretty bird, like a, a parrot, but you know, they each feather's different. But anyway, anyway, all right. Let's pop some bubbles. Big one right there, boy. This is a real big one right there. Come on, bubble. Pop, pop. There you go. Try not to torch too much too close, but there's bubbles in it. Because I mixed the paint today. Let's see here. Get it more along the lines of that middle. Yeah, I may have to put a little bit more to help it. This is the right one. This is the right one. <laughs> We're going to be flinging some paint here in a minute. Oh, that's a lot of paint on there. A lot of white. Um, I'm still seeing bubbles. Yeah, I should have done this like I did the... Uh, video just a couple videos back somewhere I don't remember the number but I knew I had to uh, I had to let it sit for a little while come on Put a little more in the middle okay 
it's just going off the edge because I want to make sure it doesn't stop the flow. Flicking paint. <laughs> it's the best way I've found so far to get it off my finger. So, all right, here we go. Well, that was weak, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm seeing a little black pop up. There's a little bit in there. Let's see. Try to get this is really interesting. Wow, that is definitely an interesting piece, especially if you like uh, more, re Oop, more reds, which I almost knocked over. Let's see, I know you're saying don't do it again, don't do it again, because I'm gonna lose some stuff, but I gotta do it one more time. That is so cool. Yeah, weak. I'm just not a lefty. This is. I did better with my left hand than I did my right for not being a lefty. Okay. A little steam. I'm seeing bubbles everywhere. Bubbles, bubbles. Bit of bubbles. Come on. Bubbles are just not liking me. I did, however, want more black. A little more, more gold. It's making me wonder if I should just keep this piece. Even though it's not what I'm looking for at this very moment. I still like it. I wonder. I'm just lingering right there on the corner and it just, there it goes. Bubbles. Just don't burn the paint. I don't want to skin over my paint. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna give it a fling. One more fling and then I'll decide for sure because these rings in here, <coughs> excuse me, are nice and dark. I mean, there's, it makes good contrast when you, especially when you get real close. Yeah, I'm gonna spin one more time. Looks like it's almost done flinging paint. Not done flinging bubbles though. not too bad some of that blue came out and that is real interesting and I like interesting I like different and I like interesting and I just don't like all these bubbles that just keep right on surfacing um I had to get down so close to it to get them come on But they just keep surfacing. Um, either way, I'm going to take my little stick, my little stick, and uh, go ahead and go around my edges so it doesn't pull any more paint off of here. wants to keep coming and coming and coming and coming. All right. And I made plenty of space, so if this were to happen, 
not what I'm looking for, but I like it anyway. I had room for it. Um, should have got my big one, not the little one. I'm liable to break the little one. And yes, guys, I have my little stack going on. There we go. One down, five more to go since this isn't the <laughs> This isn't the uh, one I chose out of my head, but as any artist will tell you, you don't always get what's in your head onto your canvas or whatever you're painting on. It's just the way it is. Uh, it always seems to look different in your head than it does when you get done. So, I'm going to sit and try this again. Glad I brought another big one over here. Okay. I had to re pour into the cups or into my cup. And I will probably from this point on speed you up so it doesn't take so long. Unless I forget to tell you something or I need to tell you something and then I'll slow it down to let you know or I'll let you know at the end. You never know. So if you fast forward through everything, you won't know. But before I speed you up, please, if you like it, like, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Um, and yeah, with that being said, I'm going to have another sip of coffee. Yeah, you see the size of that mug, right? That is one cup holder for me. <laughs> I'm going to have another sip and fast forward. Here we go. in the galaxy and not done on purpose. It's like a fire and ice nebula.
right, guys, I wanted to come back in here and show you. That's the first one. That's the second one I'm calling Fire and Ice. And this is the third one with a lot of yellow. I figured I would cut the video because it was getting way too long. But I have a surprise because as I keep trying to get these to come out the way I'm envisioning, my next video is just amazingly beautiful. I love it. Um, it's more of a beachy scene, but I will be right back with that video showing you how the others turned out. See you in a minute.